Okay, what's up everybody? This is, this is gonna be the strangest video I record right now, but I need you guys' help. Like, seriously, every single person that watches this video, I need your help in multiple ways. Either, we are either going to expose probably one of the most elaborate and biggest scams I've ever seen in my life, or, or something really good is gonna come out of this. So most of you all know, I moved to uh, Tokyo, to Japan uh, recently, almost, what, five, almost six months ago now. Something like that, almost five months ago, something along the lines of that. During that point in time, I had one major slip up and that slip up was losing my wallet, my money, everything because I was going to, you know, set up my Japanese bank account and all that good stuff and just gone. So it took a lot to, you know, try and maintain things and everything else. And what ended up happening was, of course, I got paid and all the money's gone. I was late behind, you know, behind on a lot of different things, whatever. But then at the same time, I've had people who have actually tried to help out. And, but I mean, you know, you can't, they, they, it's very hard for me to ask for anything, number one. And number two, it's, uh, I don't know. It's just one of those things that didn't feel right to ask someone else to help out the situation that I kind of put myself in, you know, by being stupid and losing something that important, no matter whether it was a mistake or not. But in, I, I tell you this because what I then decided to do was I remembered there was a job that was offered to me before I had left the States and I was like, no, because I didn't have the time and not just that. But then it was one of those things where it's like, you know, money being put into a job kind of, kind of bothers me. But at this point, you're down to your last 50 bucks and it's like, fuck, I, there's no way I can survive till the next, you know, pay just on 50 bucks. And by the way, if you're wondering where I'm at, sorry, I had to pause there. Someone else came in and I didn't want to have anyone else in the recording and everything else. I'm actually out and about uh, in Tokyo right now, but I had to stop to actually grab something to eat because, you know, I'm starving and freaking... <laughs> working, working with the budget, but anyway, this this scam is so elaborate that it ties numerous companies to it. All right. First off, the network that it was on after going into the email, everything else, finding it, it was on something called uh, Flex Jobs and Up Net, uh, Upwork. Upwork. That's the other one. So it's utilizing these two websites as the place to actually get people to do the job offering a hundred to two hundred dollars a day and i mean if you're in a bond I, I can completely understand going through and by no means no means ever ever have i been foolish enough to go in and you know actually work in a in a scam sort of uh environment a scam job or anything like that but i tried it i tried it and let me tell you right now, this is got to be one of the biggest scams out there, if that's what it is. And I'll explain how I need your help as we go through this video. Now, first off, if you take a look here, I'm gonna go through and show you a few different things. First off, this is the actual website here that you are supposed that you go on to, and I mean, it's a global website. It actually has all the information there, how to sign up and how they're gonna contact you. Now, the first thing that kind of got me was a WhatsApp contact, but I understand this. I've actually worked in marketing before and we actually did all of our contacts through like WhatsApp and different things like that, just because it was more convenient. And plus people giving out their own personal phone numbers, yada, yada, if you understand what I'm saying. Now, normally, however, with most companies, you're going to have a direct phone number. And on the website, the only thing I really saw was social media pages as well as uh, uh, email addresses. 
But anyway, the person contacted me and they were my trainer. Now the two companies that this actually is going on through, one of them is called Bonanza and Bonanza is a huge online e-commerce uh, website. And the other one is Apps Flyered. Now, I don't know if you guys have ever seen these two companies, but you can look them up and you'll find out everything about them. Danza, in fact, is at this uh, main headquarters in Seattle, Washington. Uh, Apps Flight is known as a huge, huge company. And, you know, most of their employees make tons and tons of money. Now, with that being said, this young woman contacts me. She is my trainer. She's my you know go-to. She's going to teach me how to do the job, everything else, and it's a task-based job, as you will see in the screens here. The first thing that ended up happening on the first day, I ended up going ahead, starting the work, and it came out to where I had made somewhere around one hundred and twenty-two, one hundred and twenty. $4, something along the lines of that, 124 bucks. And looking back and forth through all the information, it actually shows, you know, how they're tied, well, that they are Bonanza number one. It gives you all of the terms and conditions, all of those different types of things. And then it gives you more information on what it is that they do specifically. And after looking up all this information and then talking to this individual, starting the first day, making $122, it was like, well, you actually have to, you can pull your money, but you need about 150 to pull. And then she said, when you do pull your money, you might want to leave, you know, maybe 50, 60 bucks, something like that in the account. Now, remember I said that because here's what happened the next day. The next day I go on, I work in our platform and then actually make money on mine and then go back into my platform and make more money to the extent to where I, it's, I'm able to actually withdraw. So I withdraw the money from the account and I had asked her again, so I need to keep 70 in there. She goes, no, don't even worry about it because you know what, I'll let you work on uh, my platform, help you build up some money and then you can go back in and work on yours and you know just withdraw every day. All right, cool. I had made enough money to where I could actually, you know, go out, have some need, take care of a couple of things that I needed to take care of. And then the next night she contacted me like clockwork, right? Even talked to customer service. And here's the other part about it. In order to withdraw your money, you withdraw your money through crypto. Now, all of us technically have crypto accounts, whether we know it or not. If you use anything like uh, PayPal or even uh, Cash App, you have, you have crypto available to be withdrawn or to be transferred. Okay, and as I said, there was a second platform, and it's the App, uh, App Splier platform. Now, I need you guys to take a look at this because this account now says $61.02. It wasn't that a couple of nights ago. In fact, a few nights ago, there was 10102 in there and I pulled $60 from the account because number one, I needed 60 bucks at that point in time. And number two, I started getting that feeling of, I don't know what's going on here. But now all of a sudden there's $61. There's an extra 20 bucks in there that I don't know where it came from. There's only one thing I could possibly even think it is, but I don't know. It 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 kind of doesn't does it make mistake uh, make sense, and I'll tell you what that is as we get further in. But anyway, so I got back on the platform the next night. This night, I don't even know. Get through the uh, some of the uh, tasks, and as you see, if you look at the list of everything that I'm showing here, which are the tasks themselves, uh, how they're completed. Then all of a sudden I got what's known as a double order. And the double order then forces your account into the negative. And when it forces your account into the negative, now you gotta top the account, the account off in order to be able to complete the orders and then be able to cash out you know, your money. So I go through and I know, even at this point, you're probably thinking this sounds just crazy. I get it, but you're in, you're in. 
And I started with almost nothing. And so that I made what I made and put myself in a, a okay position, I was like, okay, well, keep going. So went ahead, topped off the account. Get to the point where I'm going through the orders again and bam, another double order comes in. And this double order now is massive and it's like, you know, a thousand dollar commission on it. And it goes through and it goes through and anyway, it comes down to the point to where the final order is a double order. And if you look, it says $5,000 commission. Okay. Now at this point, the account was in the negative $3,755 and some change. Right now it says $2,700 and we'll get to why it says that in a minute. At this point, I'm like, there's no freaking way. There's no way. I don't, I don't have it to actually replenish that. I just lost thousands of dollars with my wallet. I, it's gone. I have no way to replenish this. Don't have a way to get the money back. So what do I do? I've been asking a lot of questions trying to figure out if this was legitimate or not and kind of playing a mental game with both the individuals who supposedly my trainers on both platforms. So I said to the trainer, I said, hey, look, it's gone. That money that, you know, <laughs> the, the commission, everything gone, because guess what? I can't take care of it. Don't have the means to do it right now. It, it ain't my budget. See, the way my bank account works, and it, I don't have one at this point, because, you know, I lost everything. But I didn't tell her all of that. But anyway, so I told her, I said, listen, this is what it is. Um, I guess I'm just done, you know? Don't know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna have to figure something out. Screw it. But then I said something else. You're kind of tied to me. And what I meant by that is the money that I make, I know, I know for a fact, she's making money off of it. If she's not the one who's scamming me. So I said to her, all right, you gotta help me out with this. Essentially, it took her the next like day, day and a half, and she got back to me and she said, all right, here's what I'll do. I can give you up to $1,000. Now, when she said that, I was like, huh, you give me up to $1,000. And she goes, we'll put this on your account. You need to finish that final task, cash out. And when you cash out, you send me back 1,300. Once you cash out, I'm going to trust you to do that. Now, here's why I thought that this, that this would be legit. Because of the fact that, well, her commission, if I cash this out and clear this final task, is $3,250. So what she decided was that she could risk a third. In my head, this is what I'm thinking. She decided she could risk one third of it. If I don't pay her back the $1,000, dollars that she put towards it and to actually she put 1050 towards it <clears throat> but if i don't pay her that back she's still gaining you know 3250 or in this case it would be 2200 at the end of the day which is double what she put in but but the but to that is that it's still felt kind of off to me and besides there was still no way I could complete it but she actually did and she showed me the information as to her fulfilling and or refilling the account but then I went online and I looked up more information and this is what I found everyone on nearly every platform says it's a scam once I looked into it and then I went deeper into the companies and everything else the catch to it is though, I mean, like I said, and you see it, they have all the information on these companies, on their websites, all the legitimate information about these companies, their CEOs and what they make, you can easily find. But anyway, so every single person who said it's a scam, I see one thing in common with them. They all quit after they ended up at such a level of a couple of thousand dollars or so, They, I mean, 
people just didn't have the money, I would, I would guess. But they all quit. Now, when you quit on a platform like that, and my account actually still shows you know, everything there, we can pull it right now and look at it. It shows everything there. It shows the $2,050 that she had taken off. That's the reason why it only says 2,700 right now on the account as far as in the negative. And mind you, she's still been messaging for the last two days asking, hey, have you completed your task, withdrawn the money, and can you get the money back to me that I gave you? So all of this plays to some form of uh, legitimacy. And again, this is either the greatest scam I have ever seen in my life, or we're about to make $17,000 right now. out of all of this being said, there's one specific thing that I know, all right? And that's this. This is how I think you actually win in this situation. Your account is actually tethered onto these platforms, your uh, crypto account. So right now, my crypto account is tethered to it. And when I hit that withdraw button, as long as there's enough money in there and as long as I am not in the negative, it has to withdraw to my crypto account. What they actually prey on is the hope that you put money in and aren't able to cash out. Because if you're not able to cash out, then that means that after X amount of days, whether it's, you know, it's a, I believe it's a 60 day period of time or 90 day period of time, something like that that I read in there. But if you cannot cash out within that point in time, guess whose money it is? It's theirs. And for all of those people who actually went on the platform and then they got into the negative, to the realm that they got into the negative of, they kept their money. Now, in my case, and this is the reason why I want to do this so bad and run this experiment is because if I'm able to cash out, I'm not going back in. <laughs> not, but that's the thing, I will be able to cash out. Once that actual balance hits zero or a few dollars over zero, and it takes away the negative 2705 or whatever, then everything runs back into the account. And at that very moment, I can hit withdraw. And seriously, I want to be able to do it so bad just to piss them off so they don't get away with, you know, the, well, at this point, 14,000 and some odd dollars in change that they don't get to keep it. That's why I'm like, Help me out with this, y'all, because we going to burn them if we do. We're going to burn them. They can't stop the, the transaction from going through. That's what I've learned right now. So here's the point that I've come to. I want to know if this is legit or not. I really do. Because at the end of the day, I technically didn't have anything to start with in the first place with everything that's in there. But. But what I need help with is trying to come up with the rest of this. And I will record the entirety of the final process to see if this was real or not. Because if it is, afterwards, I will have pulled 16000 over $16,000 from this. Now, that being said as well, what has to happen, if it does go through, is we send her the $1,300 back, all right? And then we're gonna take about $3,000 of that and actually donate it. I want you all to take a look at every single thing that is shown on the screen and tell me what you think about it because this is absolutely insane. And if this is an actual scam, then every single person watching this needs to tell someone else that they know, especially if they ever go on in any one of these platforms looking for a position, so on and so forth, that you don't do this. And at some point in time, they're going to get caught up if that's legitimately what it is. But beyond that, you guys see the donate links in the, uh, in the uh, description. I know there's going to be thousands of people that watch this. Five, 10 bucks per person. We're going in on this together. 
And you know what? Afterward, we're gonna do something really, really good with that. But anyway, listen, thanks a million for watching. I'm the show with Aid. <laughs> Go ahead, like, comment, subscribe. And most definitely, most definitely, again, once we figure out what this is, I mean, we're actually, I'm not even gonna record it. I'm gonna do it live. We're gonna fi uh, finish the process off live. We can raise up the money to actually do this. It's a total of $2,800 because I know that the fees, it's $2,705, I'm not looking at the screen right now, but $2,705 and some change. But I know that the fees are gonna probably boost it to about $2,800 on the transfer end. That, that's just the way that crypto works. It is what it is. I mean, it might be a lot less than that, but $2,800 would actually be, I guess, kind of covering, well, it'll cover the purchase and it'll cover the transfer into the account. So what I want to know is if this was legit and in the end, it's either we lose that money. And I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> I, I'm losing, I, I'm losing, a, you know, everything I put into it, which was, you know, what I made off of it in the first place. But either we lose this or again, it's making almost $17,000 and we're going to do something good with that. So yeah, go ahead and <laughs> wow. Like, comment, subscribe. Uh, tell me what you guys think about it. I, I, either way it goes, whether you donate or not, whether we finish this task or not, tell me what you think of this because to me, again, if this, is a scam even with all the information and it's showing the number of people that are actually on that platform you know day in day out hour in hour out and it changes it, it's not like it sits at that you know at a 70 million mark or something like that constantly no i've watched it for multiple days on multiple occasions just trying to figure out the legitimacy of the whole entire thing and yeah again this this has to be one of the craziest scams I've ever seen in my life. But if you want to know if it's legit, like I want to know if it's legit and possibly, you know, see a, a big come up, then go ahead, donate. This is, this is at, this is at your risk. I mean, I figured it this way. If what? If only a couple hundred people watch this and donate 10, 20 bucks a pop, it'll cover it. And we're doing it live. No ifs, ands, or buts about it. Yeah, I'm the Shell Bullet 8. It's been good. It's been fun. It's been great. Uh, I'll see you next time. But for right now, I'm going to go ahead and head out. Peace.